Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. My name's Heliax and last time we started the White March Part 2 and we are here in the Stalwart Mines trying to clear it out of bad baddies, enemies. There were Xerox, or is, it, is that Xerips? Zer whatever they're called, the little kobold looking things. Um, and there's also a murder mystery going on down here too. So a lot of problems here in the mine at the moment. So, let's go ahead and start solving these problems. Um, and hopefully, we'll uh, also solve the problem. Hello, confused miner. Why did you lock the crystal away? Why punish us like this? Crystal? Crystal? Something that's going to break this curse on my sword down here. There's a lot of copper. There's stone. All we're missing is Audra, so... Hey, buddy, what's up? Someone must have... Someone must have the crystal. Where is it? There's somebody moving around up here. More miners. Tarek. Come on, folks. Get moving. Let's get this done. Need something? We're trying to get this place cleared out. He squints at you. What are you doing in here, anyway? I heard you were the one to find... Gamel. I have some questions. Huh? Glad someone's finally taken an interest in what's been going on around here. Sure. Ask away. Where'd you find him? Found him out to the east. Hunched over Samoth's body. The state of him. Thought he'd gone feral or something. Tarek shakes his head. One of your workers was acting a little strangely. Noticed that, have you? I think it's something to do with the sulfur. After they are sent to fetch it back from the east mines, they all come back a little off. Caught some of them wandering in circles, talking to themselves. He shrugs. Then it seemed to last one. Then it seemed to last once they were outside the mines. The eastern mine seems to be the site of a lot of trouble. My guess? It's gas, bubbling up from underground. Coming out with so coming out with the sulfur, messing with people's heads. Knew a guy once. Got a lungful. He decided to shuck it off. He decided to shuck off all his clothes and run hollering through the, through the tunnels. We all got an eyeful, but at least he didn't hurt any hurt anybody. Be careful if you head over there. Sillin? Killin? Sillin uses constructs for digging, and they double his guards. Just give her a, he a heads up. You're on the way, maybe. Uh, what's Sillin's job here? I have her picking out some potential sites for new tunnels at the moment. Otherwise, she wrangles the constructs mostly, these days. Her aim's to have the constructs do most of the dangerous work. You'd have to ask her how she's getting on with that. I never liked those things myself. Has anyone from your crew gone missing? Not a one. Guess we've been lucky. That's all. Okay, so we need to go to the eastern mines. Whispers in the dark. The cave-ins have created an opening to the outside. Snow has settled upon the rocks above. Turn, uh, turn fast mode on. There we go. Let's get to the east side. Strange that there are Zarips right here, though. Maybe they came from this direction. Discovered S Samoth's body. Did we? Oh, there it is. You here for the body? Yeah, that's me. Samoth's body is laid out cleanly. You can see that his throat has been torn out, and his face has deep scratches in it. His hands are stained a light yellow. Alright, that coincides with the sulfur. Sulfur theory. There are steps going down there. I don't like that. <laughs> There's one thing I don't want there to be in my mind. It's, uh... Earthquakes. Alright. So it looks like that is where we need to go. So let's head down here. And then a nice bridge. Looks nice and safe. Gonna back up like that. 
They're gonna bless us. Hi. What do we want to do first with you? Wait for them to get up here. You guys go in. I'm here. I'm right here. Yes. Hit those guys. Got the paralyze on them. Perfect. Do that. You're gonna keep hitting them in the back. Okay, you're in a pretty dangerous spot. Do another one of these. Got all the paralyzed down. Perfect. Um, do one of those. Lead the way. You attack. Hey. Try and knock this guy down. While they're paralyzed, do another one of these. Good. Uh, do a normal fireball. All of you attack them. Doing great there, uh, Aloth. Mm. Do one of these on him. That was a lot of damage there. Uh, all of, okay, everybody's good. Everybody charge up here. You're going to second wind. Holy radiance. Good. That strategy worked out flawlessly, I feel like. Although we won't be able to do it again because Iloth used a lot of spells there. Of course. Which is unfortunate, but you know, it happens. Good thing I'm fresh to Should greased. probably start stealthing now, too. Now that we're in the eastern mines. I think. There's something up here. I think we just hear them on the other side. Okay, we got another body. With a letter. A set of fragmented notes is scribbled almost illegibly on a scrap of parchment. Tunnels. Remember lamp. Keep hand on right wall whole way. Watch for spiders. Is it always got to be spiders? How unoriginal. Uh, let's do this. Hammer and chisel. Alright. Let's go down this way. I suppose we should probably... I should probably do what it, that letter told me to do. Can I, uh, see it one more time? It said, just hug the right wall, basically. Uh, would it be in quests? Items? Don't think it's one of those. Minus note. Remember lamp. Keep hand on right wall whole way. Watch for spiders. Okay. Well, we don't have a lamp. But we'll just... I guess we'll just hug the right wall. Definitely hear spiders. Okay. They're unavoidable. Ow. Jesus. Come the hell down, spiders. Hi. Come bless us. Um. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, there's more. Knock it down. Yeah. Get one of those. Uh, Interdiction. Grimmar. A moon spider. Those are new, right? Yeah, I don't think we've seen moon spiders before. Hey. We'll take that. I'll see what's ahead. Oh. Loot their nest. That could be what's killing the miners. These is fierce spiders down here. Did 
take that. Okay, we got some more spiders here. Okay. Not that one. This one. Okay, you need to move over here. You guys are attacking him. Zara is ready. Hmm. Right there. Hi. Uh, you need to come up. Do that. Okay, do another one. Um. Holy Radiance. You guys need to be doing things, please. Okay, I don't like that your health is dropping. It's probably mostly my fault, though. Interdiction. Bless. Move on up. Everybody attack this guy. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Uh, hey. knock him on his spider butt. There you go. There we go. Take all that. Take all that. I shall be discreet. Take that. Spider venom sack. Maybe we should try some crafting at some point. Yeah, probably not. I right, got a couple in here. I'm gonna take them down. Easy enough. Move on to the next one. Perfect. No spider left alive. It's my policy. Kill all the spiders. Let's see what we got. See what we've got indeed. A peek inside these shallow barrows reveals the gleaming stare of many eyes. Okay. It's comforting. <laughs> We're just going to walk past that. I guess they're baby spiders. As long as they're baby spiders. Little baby spiders grow up to be big spiders. Let's save it. What do we got here? A dead body. So there's the lantern. So that's the way we want to go. Rotting flesh constructs. And there's Sillin. Hey there. Hang on, just a moment. She turns towards the nearest constructs. Stand down. The constructs stop instantly, limbs going limp at their sides. There we are. Now, what can I do for you? You control these constructs? That's right. Pretty solid workers, seeing as they don't eat, sleep, or go crazy and kill their workmates. She smirks. Not as often as your usual miner, anyway. I'm looking into the disappearance of the miners for Izmi. Can you answer some questions? Suppose so. Not sure how much help I can be. Tarek's the one that found Gamel. Do you think Gamel's responsible? Sure looks that way. Seeing as he's got bits of Samoth's, Samoth in his teeth, she grimaces. Have you noticed any strange behavior in the, in the other miners? Mining's rough work at the best of times. It's why I like using the constructs. I think these tunnels just start to get to people over time. Never thought Gamel would snap like that. But sometimes, yeah, folks start acting a little strange. Like when, uh, who was it? She frowns. Huh, you know, my memory's been acting up lately. I'm starting to think Tarek might be onto something with that gas theory of his. Farewell. Swing on by if you have any more. Uh, Cillin's gaze seems to slide off you. With a sudden convulsive ripple, her posture changes. She hunches forward, and her arms dangle loosely at her sides. Brothers, sisters, Terranat is here. Her head turns toward you, but her gaze is empty. Terranat? Who are you talking about? We've been looking for you. We know what you've done. Her legs trudge, to trudge forward in slow, ponderous steps, as if she might collapse under her own weight at any moment. Why are you looking for me? Why were you looking for me? Take him away. Lock him up until we get what we want. The constructs behind her turn as one, 
their clawed fingers at the ready. The constructs charge toward you. Ah. Hey. Not good. Knock him down. I'm here. Maneha, you get on him. I'm right here. You get on him. Yeah. Um, who's up there? Is that the devil? Yeah. Devil, you need to get back here. You two, back here too. Oh no, that's not the devil, that's you. You. You attack him. All three of you, attack him. Uh, yeah. you interdict. Uh, Holy Radiance. Do that. Go ahead and bless. They're immune to whatever that was. Okay. Try and knock them down again. Yes. Do that again. Uh, do one of these. Okay, so we got some magic going on up there. It's not good. Second wind. Let's go ahead and do one of these. Did you not... You, doubt, you did second wind and you're still that hurt? That's not good. Try and paralyze them. That was not the right spell. Why are you up here? All of you on this guy. Alof, that's not where you're supposed to be, my man. Okay. We've healed a little bit. Stun him so Alof can get out of there. All right, Aleph, get over here. Okay. Do that. Get another heal. She's paralyzed. How may I help? And make it count. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's just start using these. Eh? Do that. Um. Eh? Let's get a heal over here. That's not what I told you to do. That's frustrating. Do one of these then. Everybody on this guy. Oh, she's back up. It's bad. All right, everybody on her. Knock her down. Good. Should be the end. Updated quest whispers in the dark. All right. Take that. Take that. Ooh. Looped rope. Properties clarity. What does that mean? Clarity passive. Plus 20 defense against blinded, weakened, unconscious, terrified, stunned, stuck, sickened, distracted, prone, petrified, paralyzed, hobbled, frightened, dominated, dazed, confused, charmed. Damn. A young knight saw a legendary armorer beneath the mountains of the living lands. The knight brought a fortune in gold and asked the armorer to craft something exquisite to protect her on her adventures. The old armorer agreed on the condition that the young knight would appreciate or apprentice with him for three years to learn the basics of his trade. The young knight agreed and worked at the armorer's side day and night, fashioning breastplates, greaves, uh, quises, qu quises, and shield. In shields, as the as the third year drew to a close, she waited to see what marvelous piece of arm piece the armorer would craft for her. Yet the old man never picked up a hammer, hammer, but to correct her technique. On the final evening of her apprenticeship, she approached the armorer and asked about the reward he had promised. He counseled patience and told her that he would finish it by by morning. 
When she rose the next day, she found him sitting by the hearth, twisting a length of rope. I've done all you asked, she said. I've served you faithfully and learned your trade. Where's the armor you promised me? It is here, the old man said, holding up the rope. You vowed to grant me a great... A great protection, the knight said, her hands moving to her blade. And so I have. You have worked at my side for three years. You have seen how even the strongest steel shatters, dents, and rusts. The greatest protection is not bent metal, but the mastery over your own mind. With this, even the greatest wounds shall not stop you. I would have... I mean, I'd take the armor, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Oh. I thought this was like a chest or something. This dark burrow extends deep into the wall of the mines. Unlike the miner's tunnel, unlike the miner's tunnels, the walls here have an up have an almost slick texture, interspersed with damp, pressed earth. A few paces past the entrance, the tunnel widens considerably. You find yourself at a crossroads, where the tunnel splits off in three directions. Two tunnels lead to the left and right while the third stretches on ahead of you. You can feel the breeze, faint but steady, coming from the tunnel to your right. Take the path to the left, go forward, take the path to the right, turn around, retrace your steps to the exit. Let's go to the exit. You trace your steps and make your way back to the exit. Uh, that seems like the way forward. So let's just take a quick little peek over here. Keeping an eye out. See if there's anything up here. Confused miners. That's crazy. Okay, with a bunch of sulfur. Would you lock the crystal away? Uh, the miners just blink a little ahead of you. Someone must have the crystal. And a big chest over here with a contract of sale. This document details the purchase by someone named Sillen of a handful of constructs for use in the sulfur mines. The seller appears to be to have been one Galvino. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. Hey. That's where the constructs come from. That makes sense. Okay. I wonder if he's going to show up again in this in this uh, DLC, besides that little cameo. Alright, so let's head on in here. So in we go. Um, I think we've already done this, right? Yeah. And then we've done that one. Okay, so we feel a faint breeze uh, coming from the right. It seems like that's the way we want to go, though, then. Um, so let's go the other ways. What's the worst that could happen? Take the path to the left. Walking on, you come to a fork in the road. The tunnel splits here, curving away to the left and right. You hear faint rustling down the tunnel to, the, to your left, and the repetitive tap, tap, tap of bristly legs striking the cavern floor. All right, let's take them on. Take the path to the left. As you head down the tunnel, you come upon a spiderling clinging to the cavern wall. It hisses fearsomely at you, brandishing its fangs. Startled, you straighten up and crack your head on the ceiling of the tunnel. The spiderling turns and flees into the darkness. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I thought I was actually going to fight it. You trudge gamely down the path, only to find that the cavern eventually comes to a dead stop. The only way forward is behind you. All right, turn around. Uh, walking on, you come to a fork in the road. The tunnel splits here, covering away to the left and right. So right is the way we way to the exit. Let's go left. At the end of the path, you find yourself facing a dead end. A pile of boulders and dirt has fallen into the passage, blocking your way. You notice gaps between some of the rocks, though these are too narrow to pass through. Use a hammer and chisel to weaken the boulder. You chip determinedly away at the stone. After a long period of heavy, heavy toil, you manage to break one of the smaller boulders. Several rocks tumble away, clearing a path just wide enough to pass through. The path stretches on for a long, long way, taking you through a seemingly endless stretch of featureless stone. Walking on, you come to a fork in the road. The tunnel splits here, curving away to the left and right. Take the path to the left. We're going to keep going left. You see light up ahead as the tunnel comes to an end. Stepping clear of the, tum of the tunnel, you find yourself in a new cavern system. A thick layer of spider webs under your feet. Okay. Is did we make it all the way to where we needed to go then? Is that Was there more to find? Are there multiple caverns I could have found? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. 
Okay. We also they didn't mention these magical lamps. Okay, we're actually not doing too too well, are we? Um right here. Zawa is ready. How may I help? I think we should probably sleep. Hey. Mm, should we sleep or should we not? Uh, how big is this place? Big. Luminescent caves. Of course. Well. Dominated miner. Vithrak. The Vithrak. Someone must have the crystal. Give it to me. I thought we were pals. The Vithrak have betrayed me. Um. Should probably go out to the Vithrak. I know you're hiding the crystal. Give it to me. Dude, I'm not hiding the crystal. You need to relax. Alright, everybody on him. Uh, I guess we can bless. Can we stun it? Good. Stun it. Knock it down. There we go. Killed the Vithrak Luminary. Okay, so we have the Vithrak down here. Which makes sense for all the spiders. Nice and quiet. Okay. Look at this place. Big old cavern. Or chasm here. Okay, we can go up that way. Can we go this way too? Looks like it. It's cool that when you see that little light, it like shows up further, further in your vision. Let's see. It's kind of neat. I like that. Okay. Anything down here? No. Okay, keep going up this way then. Got a table up here. Mind grub. Got some barring death door potion. Let's go around here. This seems... You don't think this is their colony, do you? The colony that they spoke about in Kadnua? That'd be kind of sad. Save it. Let us in. We need more. Oh. That's a lot of them. That's a problem. Got one more of these. Go ahead. Throw it right there. Uh -huh. Um, on this guy. You did not do what I told you to do, buddy. Right there. Do one of those. They're all on Aloth here. That's not good. Oh, Aloth has betrayed us. How may I help? Zawa is ready. And they're paralyzed. Okay. Right here. Okay. Good. Paralyzed there. Aloth, you're probably going to be dead. Buddy, I'm sorry, but it's yeah. just the way it is. Aloth is gone. Um, do that. Uh -huh. Kill him. Wait, Aloth is still alive. He's still up. No, he's not. <laughs> Uh, oh, and I used up all the spells that can revive him. That's not good. Shiny beacon. Heal yourself. Oh, you're still yeah. overtaken. Never mind. Uh -huh. Yes. You need to heal yourself. Yeah. 
Um, do that. The brutes are down. Everybody on this fifth rack. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Do another one. Good. Everybody on this guy now. Add off your back. Heal. And in fact... Help him out there a bit. Okay. Uh, switch weapons. Go out to the luminary. All of you on the moon spider. And then on the war bow. You keep him occupied at Edir. Good. Do one of these. Good. Whew. There was a lot of uh, enemies there. But we managed to pull it off. Take all the Vithrak brains. It's kind of gruesome <laughs> that we're taking their brains, but... I don't know. All right, so what do they what do they got up here? A barrier lies across this doorway, humming with strange with a strange energy. You can see no obvious way past it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're going to want to sleep. It's time to sleep. Can I see what these guys are? No. If I had to guess they're wilders, I don't know for sure, but we're gonna do it. I guess some of them might be beasts. The spiders might be beasts. Let's go with that. You wanna rest? Hireling payday. Woo! Take my money, bastards. Got a visitor there. Uh, still got a long time on the curtain walls. Ah, that sucks. Hey, step okay. Let's go this way. See if we can't find a way around that barrier. Vithrak brutes. Luminaries. Yeah, there. What's going on here? It's got them all in a, a tussy. Ain't that special? It's special. Ooh. Then. Okay, go unlock that. Or, you know. Okay, and then everybody attack that. Hopefully, there's not a trap there. Ah! What the hell did it just do? This is a ton of damage, is what it hey. did. How may I help? Eh? Classia. Use that. <laughs> Um. Hey. Oh my god, they are just... Brutalizing the devil. Which I know doesn't sound like a bad thing. <laughs> but it is a bad thing. The devil is a good guy. Right now. What the shit? Need you to stun it. And you need to get away, Klesia. Good. And then heal. Right there. I'm right here. Um How may I help? Kill that guy. Edir. Knock this guy down. Okay. Yes. We need to this guy needs to die. So use that. Eh? And... Yeah, you guys, you can go. Well, give us a blessing. There's another one? Maneha, go after him. 
one right here. You start firing at him. Give us a heal. Good. Come on down here. Go at him. All of you, attack him. Okay. How did your health go down so much? Yes. Um. Let's get. How may I help? Get him up. I was enjoying himself. Yes. Yes. How are you so close to being dead already? Okay. Figured that was gonna happen. Use that on her. Okay. Let's get some damage down. We need some damage. Um. Cleansing flame. You do that. Okay, this guy's almost dead now. Good. Use one of these on him. Uh, go after the spectral pike. I don't know if when it dies. Okay. When it dies, these guys do not go away. That's bad. Uh, get us a heal. Or not. Summon those. Attack. How is this guy still alive? What the... Okay, you guys attack him. If you can't... Wow, this is tough. Just is a freaking war bow. Just kill it. Zawa is ready. This thing isn't doing. My God. Well, that's really bad. <laughs> hey, that was really tough. Not a sound. Okay. Oh, look at here. Whew. That's close. Good, good trap disarming, though. Is there another one? Good. And another. These are giving good XP. That'll do. That's good. Okay. So that goes down into here. I guess we'll go see what's down here. Vithrak nests. Okay. No wonder they were so protected. Take that. You gotta see this. See what? Oh. The threat crystal. Whispers in the dark. Wow. What if you didn't catch that? Um. I found a crystal in the Vithrak nests. I may be able to use it to open the sealed door. Interesting. Wrapped up in a bundle of webs, you can see small spiked Vithrak eggs. Periodically, they pulse with movement from within. That's good that their eggs are still, you know, alive. All right, then. Okay. Let me get up here. Another chest with some scrolls. Okay. So we can probably open this sealed door. Let's explore the rest of the place first, though. As you do. Hopefully we don't die. Although, after the last fight, it's not looking too good, is it? 
holding chambers. This is where we saw those two run away to earlier. Oh my god. Okay. Do I want to fight that? Not really. <laughs> I really don't. Let's save. It's the best way to do this. I send you in. You're not getting through me. To the brute. Everybody else, you come in now. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bless. Do one of these. Get that heal going. Introduction. Do one of those. Got the paralyze on some of them. Good. All of you on him. Um, you're going to come up here, do that right there. Okay. And now you're going to heal right here. Aloth, you're going to do this. And another one. You're going to do another heal. Okay. Bigger heal. You are getting destroyed. Holy crap. Yeah. Use another one of these back here. Okay. Another paralyze on. Okay. And then start doing bounding missiles. Yeah. Holy Radiance. Uh, start attacking this pike. Uh, go ahead and summon this guy back here. You attack him. All of you, attack this guy. Get the pike out of there. Good. Alright, move to the Luminary. Can we knock it down? Good. Alright. That went well. Mostly. The door release me. Who are you? Hmm. Hey. Take all of that. Do we want to release them? Shh. Sounds like it could be a bad idea. Also could be a good idea though. Darkest uh Rabbitai cookies. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, man. We'll be there in a second. Just want to explore the rest of this area. All right. This looks like it's going further in. Did we release him? I guess we can release him. We have the crystal. I don't know if I used the crystal. <laughs> Maybe we could just open it. The vertex stares at you. Its spider-like features unreadable. Its speech as it forms within your thoughts, is delivered in an even low timber. Why have you come here, godlike spawn? To slaughter our people? How is it you speak a deer in so clearly? Our people are capable of much. Some simply hold less interest in learning your tongue. Some of the stalwart miners are being affected by your colony. From the tilt of his head, the Vithrak appears to be thinking. You hear a series of low, hollow chick clicks. Perhaps we share a common enemy, godlike. You see to help you seek the help you seek to help these kith, and I would save my colony. We have heard of your encounter with Charak, far beneath Kadnua. Ooh! I am told Stre Strex Strek Narith will have the secrets of Adra with these with which to strengthen its walls. Is this that place? Are we are we here? You want my help? Tell me what's going on. What can I do to help? You are generous to listen. You must have seen uh, some of my poor kin, the infected ones. What is it you wish to know? What happened to the other Vithrak? An infection has claimed our people. It began when the scouts came upon a strange plant, a radiant spore. It lived alongside a nest of spiders, each, der each deriving sustenance from the other, a marvel of nature, something that we might use. They brought it into our territory, not seeing the danger. 
It was a matter of days before many of us had ingested the spores. Why did the other Vithrock lock you up? I hid something important to them, the resonance crystal. There is a crystal, great, beautiful, enchanted, which grants us passage into the common house. I hoped that my kin would, uh, would improve if they were prevented from returning there, but it only made them desperate. Is this the crystal you mentioned? Yes, that's it. With that, you can enter the common house and deal with the radiant spore. Please hurry. The longer the spore keeps its hold upon us, the more my people suffer. The more my people suffer. suffer. What is the radiant spore? That is what we came to call the creature, for there was a light about it. I have seen similar beasts in the caverns, but never quite like this. It has grown to enormous size in little time. One center stalk, vines like pillars. It has used our our own gifts against us, the connection between our kin, it uses to spread its own words, its thoughts. Sounds like the Thorian. Why did your people consume the spores? The spores strengthened our abilities. Many believed we might all be able, we all, we might all be made more powerful. But what began to, but what began as study became addiction. It only took one to fall victim to the compulsion. Those who consumed the spores began to hear its words, then its instructions. We fought at first, tried to control it, failed. Why aren't you infected? I was cautious. I did not partake. Some were forced by those infected to consume the spores. I hid myself until I could retrieve the crystal. You feel a faint pulse of shame alongside the admission. Where is the radiant spore now? I sealed it within the common house at the center of our territory. I could not let our people bring the spore to the colony at uh, Moltol's Kumir. The door to that chamber is sealed with a glyph. There is a crystal which, which held before the, which held before that glyph resonates with a specific tone. That tone opens the door. Do you know what's happening to the miners? For a long time, we simply avoided the Kith tunnels, but the infection has heightened my people's power over weaker minds. The infect ones project their thoughts, their awareness, they find themselves in strange soft bodies, and have no care what damage they do. It is madness. You feel a sweeping aura of regret from the Vithrak. Leave. Alright, cool. Hey. The Vithrak are very interesting people. I'll see what I can find. I like that they're not all evil and I don't just have to kill them all. I can kind of ally myself with them. Brute quarters, that doesn't sound like a place I want to be. Here they come. Oh boy. I knew it. I knew you were gonna come at me. Why? Like I I haven't even been I haven't even attacked yet. I feel like the game just said, oh, you're the main character, we're gonna hit you. Stunned, get out of there. You keep attacking him, please. Until I tell you otherwise. Alright, if it's gonna come at you like that, hold it. Immune! That's bullshit. Okay, well. Once again, the engagement system fails me. Uh, these guys are not actually... There's not that many of them. We should be fine. Like I mean, we'll we'll take some damage, but. Hey. How may I help? How they immune to being held, but not to being knocked oh, down? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. All right, everybody, attack this guy. Okay. Um. Hey. She's not doing too well. We might have to rest again. Step lightly. Was that all that was in here? Oh, look at here. It was trapped. No. We're about to rest, so I guess it's not too big of a deal. All right. Uh, go up here. Trigger the trap. Take that. Ooh. Ilrin's jacket. Exceptional. Nice, nice, nice. The best swindlers know how to put on a good show. 
Many charm with their words or with sleight of hand, but Elrin made his living with his eye for fashion. The son of a tailor, Elrin picked up his father's trade when his father died, but soon found that his love of stitching far outstripped his desire to keep ledgers, and it wasn't long before he was on the street with no means of plying his trade. But while begging for coins, he noticed that a that he fared better than other beggars, and eventually he realized it was because the jacket he wore, one that he had fashioned himself, drew attention. When he had scraped together enough money, he poured it into making a jacket so splendid and unique that it would disarm even the weariest of passerby. It worked exactly as he, as he intended, and in fact, so disarming was the jacket that he found he could read, the, read and beguile people quite easily once he'd drawn them in with it. He made promises he couldn't keep. He picked pockets with his left hand while pointing out the jacket's fine detail, fine detail work with his right. In a matter of months, he had enough money to buy back and reopen his father's shop. But thrill and convenience of his new prof profession kept Elvin right where he was, begging and sweet-talking and manipulating. At the end of each day, he would steal away to a fine abode on the other side of town where no one knew him. Things took a turn for Ilrin when he met a young woman who captivated him from the moment he laid eyes on her. He tried to work his charms on her but found instead that he tripped over his own tongue and could barely get a word out. Yet the woman seemed to enjoy his efforts in spite of it all, and he finally convinced her to come to his home. He awoke the next morning to find his house had been emptied of every valuable and coin he'd ever saved or swindled, and only then did he realize it hadn't been the woman that captivated him at all. It had been her stunning velvet bodice and he knew he'd been had by a kindred soul. Alas, his prized jacket was among the items she removed, and Ilrin lived out the rest of his, his days in poverty. Where most padded armor is constructed in vertical strips, Ilrin's jacket bears a distinctive diamond pattern. It has a high collar and long sleeves that go all the way to the wrists, and it has an uncanny way of catching people off guard. Interesting. So damage reduction, eight, but better at crush, pierce, has burn resistance and corrode resistance. Cover speed's really good. Damage reduction, 10% chance to cast eye strike when hit or critical when hit or critically hit. And gives plus two perception. That's pretty cool. You okay there? Okay, he's okay. Does anybody have wear light armor? You'd wear light you wear medium armor. Oh combat's still going on. There we go. Hey. I think this might actually be an upgrade for you. Does anybody else wear light armor? You wear light armor. We could give it to you. You also wear light armor. Oh, man. I feel like you probably need it the most, actually, now that I'm looking at what you have. Can you wear armor? You can. Oh, he looks great, doesn't he? Oh, he looks so much better now. Put that away. <laughs> Hey. He gets hit often, so I think that'll work. Okay. um, Let's make our way back over here. We've got to clear this path out. I think there was a path over here, too, wasn't there? You want to just go all the way back down here? I think we might do that. Let's go all the way back down here. We'll clear out this path first before we end the episode. Because we are getting kind of late in the episode now. Uh, Klesia is, is not doing well, but she's the main character. She'll be fine. Hopefully. Alright. Let's go check what's up here. I think we should be able to do one more fight. Radiant Sporlings. Okay. This is Get in there, dear. Sporlings are usually a nuisance, though, aren't they? Um, let's go ahead and do something big here. Get you guys some defense there, and then we're going to go ahead and do that. Aloth, you go ahead and start doing that. Oh my god, where do they come from? Aloth. 
Right there. Immune? Oh boy. We've made a terrible mistake. Get some tentacle action here. Okay. I now know that that can happen. I I could have sworn I had remembered I, I I know we read that that happens. But it had never happened. So I was like, okay, maybe maybe I was just maybe I had misread that. But nope. If you're at one hit point and one endurance and you go down, you die. Good to know. Good to know. I don't know when we last quick saved. I don't think I quick saved before this. Okay, I did. I'm smart. Good. Okay, well, in that case, let's go back down here. We will rest. I should have checked what kind of creatures they were, but we'll probably have to rest again before the end of this, this area, so I'll try and keep an eye out for that. And that's where we're going to end this episode. In the next episode, we will take on these Sporlings and uh, explore the rest of this before we go into the Common House and take out the Radiant Spore. Uh, but until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.